In this DBT quick test video, we're going to be tackling the skill of non-judgmentally. This one's in the mindfulness module and it's in the how skills. Non-judgmentally is key and it's going to follow us in a lot of the skills we're going to be developing together. Basically, what this skill is demanding of us to do is to, to observe and describe the physical, noticeable aspects of the events and things that are going on in our lives that cause us to be upset and to try and detach, to focus less on the things that no one else can notice. Another way of thinking about this is trying not to be critical. But you can't just not do something. You have to do something. So we can't not be critical. Instead, we have to focus our attention, like I said, on those physical aspects. Replace them with, with observing and seeing something which won't continue to dysregulate you emotionally. Now, one, one problem that comes in with this particular skill is the question of, hey, I don't want to give up my values. And being non-judgmental is not giving up our values. If anything, it's really demanding us to live our values more fully. Because oftentimes, you know, while it's true that our emotions, our upset, our anger, are coming from valuable places, they end up being in conflict with other values we have. Developing healthy relationships, being calm, uh, being fair. And so non-judgmentally really helps us hold all of our values, or more of them, as opposed to letting one or two of our values take over our lives. So we want to see what's going on around us. We want to have more accurate evaluations of the events that are unfolding. And by, by getting rooted in those, we can, we can avoid a lot of heartache. You know, take for example, you know, seeing a group of friends across the street and you wave to them, hey, how's it going, guys? And not a single one turns around to return your hello. And that could be enraging. That could be depressing. You know, those guys don't love me. You know, they don't like me. You know, they're, they're ignoring me. They're, they're trying to avoid me. All these thoughts are judgments. And that might be true. But... But it might also be a simple matter of they didn't respond because they didn't see you. So instead of focusing on all those judgments, focusing on the environment around you, uh, noticing all the different cars and the noises that are going on in the street, being aware of the distance. You guys are a, a fair, fair distance apart. Noticing that they're talking amongst themselves and chances are they're distracted. All these things are physical features to focus on, and they allow us to, to offer, to think up of alternative explanations that aren't critical, and they're more in line with these descriptions of the environment. Another way that I like thinking about this is, you know, imagine that some bum owes you money, and you know he's in this particular restaurant. So you march over to the restaurant, and, and you can't get in. There's the maitre d' there. He won't let you in. And he sees you're angry. You know, excuse me, sir, what, what, how could I help you? And if you were to say to the guy, I want to talk to that dirty bum who owes me money, the maitre d' is not going to be able to help you. He'll look in the restaurant, and that's not going to, that's not going to match the description of anybody. But if you were to describe this guy as wearing the brown suit and blue shoes and the orange tie... You know, that's questionable fashion sense right off the bat. But you know what? Maitre is going to be able to notice who that guy is and bring him out to you to deliver him to justice. That's a good example of being non-judgmental, staying in the actual physical description of things. And then you can, you can shimmy into then wondering, well, is there a better alternative thought here that might be more accurate given the facts? A couple, a couple tactics here that you can you can use to help be more non-judgmental is to number one count the times that you notice being non-judgmental. Just first become aware. We've got to do some research. Become aware of how often does this problem come up before you can do anything in response to being non-judgmental. You first have to realize, kind of get, feel what that's like to notice what it's like in real time. Another tactic is 
when you notice that you're having a non you're having a judgmental thought to simply verbalize that i'm noticing i'm having a judgmental thought uh, another tactic that you can use is highlighting a particularly upsetting part of your day where you where you know yeah okay i'm being judgmental there's a, a lot of colorful metaphors and four letter words in that description and sitting down and writing it out in such a way where you're only describing the physical features. And another, another possibility is to talk it out with a friend. And you ha use your friend as a sounding board that they can point out to you, well, you know, I think the way you put it there is judgmental. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a better, more accurate way of describing it. So those are just a couple tactics that you can use to develop this skill of being non-judgmental. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like and share it with your friends. If you want to send me a send me a message, you can do so in the comment box or check out my website and shoot me an email. And you can support my work on Patreon.